Hello, welcome to World Watch on Uwileke TV. I am Messi Babajide. U.S. President Joe Biden has said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's approach to the war against Hamas is mistaken. Biden's remarks in an interview that aired late Tuesday dip in an already growing rift between the two staunch allies over the war, now its seventh month. Those disagreements have been compounded over the worsening humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. Israel's expected offensive in the city of Rafah and Israel's recent strike on a humanitarian convoy which killed seven aid workers, most of them foreigners. He was responding to a question about whether Netanyahu was a letting political consideration steer his decision making in the war. Biden said Israel should agree to a ceasefire, flood beleaguered Gaza with aid for the next six to eight weeks and allow regional countries to help distribute the aid. The Biden had administration was outspoken in its support for Israel following the October 7th Hamas attack, but in recent weeks has stepped up criticism of Israel's approach to the war. The United States has transferred to Ukraine thousands of infantry weapons and more than 500,000 rounds of ammunition that were seized more than a year ago as they were being shipped to Iran to OT forces in Yemen. The U.S. military said the transfer was made on April 4th. The latest military assistance that U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has provided to Kiev following Russia's full-scale invasion. Now, posting on social media platform X, the U.S. Central Command uh, CENTCOM said the hardware included more than 5,000 AK-47 assault rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles, as well as more than 500,000 rounds of 7.62 ammunition. Democrat Biden has been blocked from providing further U.S. weaponry to Kiev by Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson's refusal to call a vote on 60 billion U.S. dollars in new security assistance. Now, but with Ukrainian forces running low on weapons and ammunitions, especially heavy assault Round, Washington and its allies have been searching for new ways to arm Kyiv. A New York appeals court judge on Tuesday rejected Donald Trump's latest attempt to delay his hush money criminal trial, taking just 12 minutes to swat aside an argument that it should be postponed while the former president fights a gag order. Now, Justice Cynthia Cairns' ruling was the second time as many days as the state's mid-level appeal court refused to postpone the trial, set to begin next week, further narrowing any plausible path to the delay that Trump's legal team has repeatedly sought. Now, Trump's lawyers wanted the trial delayed until a full panel of appellate court judges could hear argument on lifting or modifying a gag order that bans him from making public statements about jurors, witnesses and others connected to the hush money case. They argued the gag order is an unconstitutional curb on the presumptive Republican nominee's free speech rights while is campaigning for presidents and fighting criminal charges. Russia and Kazakhstan ordered more than 100,000 people to evacuate after swiftly melting snow swelled mighty rivers beyond Boston Point and the worst flooding in the area for at least 70 years. The deluge of uh, meltwater overwhelmed scores of settlements in the Ural Mountains, Siberia and areas of Kazakhstan close to rivers such as the Ural and Tobo, which local officials had said had risen by meters in a matter of hours to the highest levels ever recorded. Now, late on Tuesday, levels of the Ural River in Orenburg, a city of around 550,000, reached 9.31 meters, that's 30.5 feet, exceeding the critical level of 9.30 meters, the regional governor said, urging residents in areas at risk to evacuate. The governor of Orenburg, Denise Pasla, called on those in flooded districts to evacuate promptly. And that's all we have for you on World Watch. I am Messi Babadide. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.